What's going on everybody? It's your boy BJ coming at you with another video and I hope you guys are all having a beautiful and fantastic day. And it's such a pleasure to have you here on my channel. Once again, it really does mean so much to me. Go ahead and drop me one of these please so that we can get these videos circulated. It really does help uh, my, my channel. It really does help my videos to get out there because it helps uh, to, you know, break the algorithm. So the more likes I get, uh, the more uh, views I can get as well. So, and then I can make more content so that more people are actually seeing it because I have so many videos out, but it doesn't seem like that many people have been seeing them. So uh, it really does help my viewership. If you just go ahead and drop me a thumbs up, maybe drop a comment where you're watching from and uh, it really does help my channel. So thank you guys so much. Uh, I'm excited to share uh, some more gems with you today so I can help inspire motivate and encourage you to live your best life every single day. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the importance of running your own race. This is for men and women, basically. I mean, this is not just something that is just for males, it's not just something just for women, it's for both. Because comparison is the most worst enemy you can have. <laughs> it's the worst enemy you can have. We all know this because, uh, just give you an example, you could be, having a crappy day, right? Not having a good day. And then you pull your phone out, you go on Instagram and you're scrolling. And like the first thing you see is, uh, you know, somebody who's on a trip like in Dubai <laughs> or in Cancun or something like that, living their best life. And you're stuck at home and you have to worry about going to, uh, you know, a, a job that you're not happy to be at. And you know, it just pisses you off because you have to go there. And then you're looking at other people on Instagram live their best lives so it's really sad that you know we've we're in this culture now where social media is so prevalent right it's not that social media is bad but it just makes it so much easier now for people to compare so now when you go on social media you're looking at oh my god they're in cancun or they're in dubai or they're over here in you know thailand or they're in hawaii and they're on vacation of their best lives and oh my god look at her body i wish i was as skinny as her and oh man, like look at this dude, like he's like shredded and I wish I had wish I had a six pack like that guy, I wish I had muscles like this guy and walk around with his dad bod. And it's like, oh my God, look, they got a brand new car, like and I'm driving around in this hoopty. It's like, we're constantly comparing ourselves to other people when you don't even know the real story of what's going on with that in that person's life. You don't know if that person is actually having a great time on that vacation or not. They could be on vacation but you don't know if they just had a fight with their significant other or whatever the case may be. You don't know if this person spent every dime they had just to go on this vacation to just go, just to prove a point to somebody else on social media to show that, hey, I'm living my best life, but really you check their account balance and they're in the negative. Like you don't know people's real life or you see people who you know, look so fit and they look good online, but do you really know what, it, so, like most of these fitness influencers, Photoshop their photos. You know, it's all about the right lighting. They're taking 50 pictures to even get the right one. And then you got some people who are living unhealthily just to get this, uh, a certain physique so they can share show it off uh, on social media. Because I'll tell you right now, as a fitness coach, it is not healthy for you to look simply like, like just uh, ridiculously diced and shredded just like all year round like for like a physique competition or something like that. It's not healthy. It drives you, it drives you nuts. It'll drive you nuts. And then it messes with you hormonally. It messes with your, with you uh, cognitively. It's, 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 it's just not good. <laughs> so stop comparing yourself because you really don't know what's going on behind the scenes. So this is why it's so important to run your own race, whatever that is, like whether you've got fitness goals, whether you've got uh, you know, whether you don't have kids yet and everyone's saying, when are you going to get married? When are you going to have a baby? It's none of their business. It's your life. God bless you to have your life. It's your race. They're running their own. So you don't have to worry about what somebody else is saying about your life because it's your life. With fitness, work out, do your thing, stay consistent. You don't have to rush to get these quick results. Usually people get quick results, usually rebound and they gain all the weight back anyway. It's all about long sustaining results, make it a lifestyle. Focus on your race when it comes to, you know, having children and being married and all that. You know what? You don't want to just rush into a marriage and have kids with someone you don't even like just because your family's pressuring you to get married and have kids. No, run your own race. And when it's time for you to date and you're ready to date and you decide on who it is you want to date, 
let it go at your, at your own pace. It's your life. So run your own race. Stop focusing on what other people are saying. Don't get distracted by other people's comments. It does not matter. What matters is how you feel because only you have to live in your own skin. Only you get to live in your own body every single day. So trying to people please, which I made a video on talking about people pleasing, is just gonna make you miserable and unhappy in the long run. Do everything you can to make yourself happy. Do everything in your power to fulfill your destiny and your desire so that you feel love, that you feel healthy, so that you feel good about you. Not that you're trying to make other people feel good on account of your unhappiness. And then when you're authentic to yourself and you're being happy with who you are, guess what? You're gonna be an even better person to other people. You'll be a better friend, a better lover, a better husband, a better wife, a better father, a better mother, um, a better boyfriend, a better girlfriend, a better athlete, whatever it is, a better entrepreneur. You'll be better at it because you're filling yourself up with the love that you already desire, that you have within yourself. You're already a loving being. God created you to be a loving being. You're a divine being. You're special. So don't try to run somebody else's race. Run your own race. Don't stress. Don't fret. We all have our own lives. We all have our own destinies. We all have our own goals. We all have our own dreams. Everybody doesn't want to have kids. Everybody doesn't want to get married. And there are people who do want to have kids. And, and, they, and they do want to get married. Everybody doesn't want to drive a Bentley. Everybody doesn't want to drive a Bugatti or a Mercedes Benz. Everybody doesn't want that. Some people are just okay with just driving a Ford pickup truck or a Honda. It's everybody has their own life. So run your own race and be happy and embrace who you are and stop trying to run other people's races for them on account of your own life. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you really got something out of this. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and drop me one of these. It really does help my channel. Comment down below where you're watching from. You got some insight from this video. And always be sure to hit that bell icon. That way you can be notified whenever I do upload new content to this channel. You don't want to miss out. I'll put some other videos up here for you to go ahead and check out. As usual, I love you. God bless you. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.